in case you're ever wondering why I like to get out and do this stuff, this is why. All right, so we got a boil, so I guess I'll go ahead and turn the heat off and let it soak for a bit. Hey friends, hey, welcome back to the Expeditionary Johnny channel. Today I'm at Zarensky Lake up here in Omaha, Nebraska. As you can see, things are a little frozen out here. And we're gonna start doing our trail right over here. All right, so I chose to do this trail today because right now, if I go out in the woods, things are still kind of muddy. Uh, we're going up and down below freezing with all the rain and snow. Uh, it would just really be hard uh, hiking. I figured I'm gonna wait until the ground really freezes over till I start hitting the woods again. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you guys a little bit about what we have here in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with walking on a paved trail like this. It does get out. There's a deer, turkey and stuff. Besides, it's always, hey, do what you can do. It doesn't always have to be deep in the woods. So let me see if I can show you some nice views out here around Lake Zorinsky. In case you're wondering, it's about 32 degrees today. So to me, it's great hiking weather, especially considering the sun's out. Feels really good once I uh, start moving along. I'm gonna be plenty warm, uh, not really breezy. So to me, this is ideal hiking. This is a kind of nice little, I don't know, a little tunnel effect here. This is pretty cool. Pretty slippery right about here. Woo, that was pretty slippery. I gotta be really careful with my footing here when it hits the uh, shady spots. Almost did the splits right there. This is kind of neat. Uh, I've got the sun coming in from the sides, casting. The sunlight's sneaking through the trees. There's a bit of shadows. Uh, it's nice and quiet back here. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this part of the hike. All right, so I need to give you guys a quick update. I'm actually going at too brisk a pace. I'm starting to get a little bit of sweat on my back, which is not a good thing when the temperature is around 32 degrees. So, I mean, it's great. I love it. It feels good. But at the same point, I do have to be mindful of that. In case you're ever wondering why I like to get out and do this stuff, this is why. I mean, I get a nice little workout in and the views are just awesome. All right, so we'll be walking back along the lake here. We're going to cross under that bridge. I originally parked right over there, but on the other side of that bridge, there's more trail. Dan from DC Outdoors, brother, I am thinking of you right now. I would not mind being out there right now. All right, for all you uh, survivalists, preppers, bushcrafter types, this here is what we call cattails. It's all along the water lines. 
and uh, that's really good material to grab to get a fire started. If you've never used cattail, what you do is you break it up. It's really, really fluffy. Now, it has a, uh, it'll flash really quick, but it's not going to stay lit. So I always mix it in with a bunch of other dead uh, grass. Actually, let me go ahead and insert the link and I can show you a video on how I did that before. Well, here was an unexpected surprise. Uh, out here by the lake, there's some mullein. And from my understanding, that's supposed to be good for making a hand drill fire. So when I'm done on the way back to the car, I'm going to grab a couple pieces of this and see if I can make a hand drill. Okay, so I've crossed the road again. So I'm trying to head back away from all the traffic. I'm going to head back here to the picnic grounds to see if I can find it's a nice place to set things up. Let's try cooking a little bit of uh, lunch here. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I found my spot. <laughs> yeah, this will be just fine. All right, snack time. All right, so what have we got going on today? Today we're going to be making backpacking beanie wings. So what I did is I bought a can of Vienna sausages, which we know by themselves, that really bland, really squishy. So I dehydrated them, and boy, did it change everything. They're a lot firmer that sausage flavor actually comes out really bold and strong. So when I rehydrate it, I'm not gonna take it to the point where it's really squishy. So hopefully I'll have good flavor and texture. Now as a backup, I also have some uh, andouille sausage here that I dehydrated for some jambalaya mix. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there and see how that goes. Now as far as our beans, I've got some, um, some bushes, baked beans. Actually, I think this one has some brown sugar and maple in it. So I'm hoping, I like the sweetness for my uh, beanie weenies. So we're gonna see how that goes. Now this, here's the size of our little Vienna sausage now. Mmm, that's tasty. All right, so let's go ahead and just add it to our top. Mm. I'm gonna try a few pieces of this andouille sausage. I don't wanna do too much of it. I'm just trying to get a taste, a uh, feel for it. And then, uh, not quite half this bag of baked, uh, baked beans there. All right, the only other ingredient, water. All right, so we got a boil, so I guess I'll go ahead and turn the heat off and let it soak for a bit. <clears throat> All right, so while I got a minute, uh, while I'm waiting for all the food to uh, reconstitute, I thought I'd take this time to show you guys uh, what I do to try to stay warm. So obviously when you quit moving, you're going to cool off. So I'm switching from the ball cap to this little uh, cap, the, uh, the toque that I got from uh, Rebecca Touched by Yarn. And uh, I've got this compressible jacket here. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how it works. Basically, all tucks inside tucks inside the uh, one of the pockets on the inside, um, so it makes for a good pillow if you ever need that. But if you reverse it like so, it opens up into a jacket, and it was all just inside this little pocket here for that I uh, can put your hands into. Them. So let's go ahead and put that on while we wait for our food to warm up. There we go. Nice and toasty. Now, this is a hiking jacket, so it's not going to be heavy duty, but it is easy to carry and uh, it can be a real lifesaver when the temperature gets real cold. There we go. All right, well, let's see how we did here. All right, so the beans, they pretty much disintegrated. Okay, they cracked open when they dehydrated. So now I have this nice broth in here. Came back, the flavor is awesome. But if you're expecting that bean texture, you're not going to get it with Bush's baked beans when you dehydrate and rehydrate it. But it still tastes good. Now, the little Vienna sausages, they've come back a bit, but I didn't want them to go too much because I don't want to lose that extra flavor. And I don't want to get, I, I like the texture. I don't want them to get too squishy. So let's do a taste test here. All right, so I've got a good mouthful here of uh, beans and sausages. Mm. 
that's really good mm. so with the loss of the bean texture but I gained on the, the sausage there uh, but the flavors there so all the bean flavor that you like from baked beans is there and we improved on the taste of the sausage so I'm gonna call this one a win now let's try a bit with the andouille sausage that's all right mm. I like the flavor of the andouille sausage better than the Vienna sausage which I guess is not too surprising but I am really pleasantly surprised or pleased at how much the flavor of the Vienna sausage intensifies when you dehydrate it so uh, yeah I'm gonna call this a win especially on a cold day like this uh, so a nice warm meal so I'm gonna go ahead sit here uh, enjoy my meal as I take in all the view with this being January I know a lot of people are tempted to say oh it's too cold to get out this is actually a great time to try different things so right now I'm just trying a different meal doing a simple walk in town doing a simple cook so this is a great time to actually experiment and get ready for your bigger adventures all right so I hope this inspires you guys to get out try new things or even just go out and go to some old stomping grounds and just have a hot meal it's always great to get outside so hey appreciate y'all tuning in and you guys have a wonderful day see y'all in the next one bye-bye